It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Yes, sir. And now it's time for the one and Stupid only... Stupid World Record. How are they today, man? How did this become a feature? <laughs> It's my favorite feature. A man in Germany has broken a Guinness World Record with his impressive, it says here, yes. Rubik's Cube collection. <laughs> now, uh, to make it clear, they're not all just plain Rubik's Cubes. No, God, no. They're different sizes, different I, shapes. I, they have different I, themes. No, I figured. Oh, oh, you know, they're not, Rubik's Cube, uh, they're not all just three by three. There are four by fours, there mm -hmm. are eight by eights. There are, I you, can't do any. Remember Rubik's Pyramid? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. They were trying to branch out. You remember, uh, wasn't uh, Rubik's first name Erno yeah. or Enro? I, th I, or think it's, I think it's something like Erno or... Erno Rubik? But, but yeah, I... I'm Ernie. Sure, whatever kind of brains that takes, I don't have. Florian Kastenmeyer earned the record title for the largest collection of rotating puzzles uh, with a collection consisting of 1,519 pieces. So they can't call it a Rubik's Cube anymore? Well, no, he has more than just the, the Rubik's Cube. The 40-year-old's collection features classic Rubik's Cubes as well as colorful puzzles in the shape of balls, houses, and even fruit. <laughs> a notable item in Florian's collection is a tennis ball-shaped rotating puzzle. How about that? Which he received from tennis champ Boris Becker while Becker was having sex with the guy's maid. <laughs> in the closet. In the closet. And knocking, her, that, knocking her up. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> there is one item Florian would like to have above all others. It's a wife? Oh, I was going to say <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> Close partner of any sex, whatever it works. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's, it's Rubik Cube number one, the prototype of Erno Rubik's Cube. Well, where the hell's that, and how would he ever get it? I don't know. He'd have yeah. to break into... You're, not, you're uh, never getting that, so. He'd have to break into Erno Rubik's <laughs> coffin. Oh, oh he, he took is it he, with him, huh? Gone. And his coffin actually is a large Rubik's cube. Yeah, you have to yeah. Oh, yeah. boy, yeah. that'd be this guy's dream. It's like a crypt kind oh, of thing. Speaking of puzzles, I don't know how... I just noticed this on my uh, button bars, where all the sound effects are. Uh, and uh, this says... All it says is fart one. Okay, huh. let's hear it. So this... And it's a second long. This has got to be a winner, right? Okay. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. that mouth based, you Funny. think? Is that a mouth, you think? That almost might be that guy's hand. Doesn't oh. it sound kind of juicy? Oh, like it's a. <laughs> it might be John oh. Bizarre. Yeah. Wow. It could be. Why don't we do Let's dig that up. Do you have a uh, you have a fart sound over there on your I uh, sound effect? I doubt it, but. Um, I've got one. I, I wouldn't. Well, you have one in your little portable. Yeah, nice. That's rather wet. Yeah, and it has an aftershock, which is always funny. Okay, um, enough. There's puke. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Let's oh, roll here. All right. Oh, wait a minute. You, you're tired of fart one? Here's fart two. <laughs> oh, wow. That one got away from him. Oh, wait a minute. We got an armpit over <laughs> here. Got a little two in it. Anything? I got to start the lawnmower. I can't, <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it. Visual. Yeah, Willie is trying to pump <laughs> his arm. You got to prime the pump. Uh, I used, to be, I used okay. to be better. I can do like a... Oh, oh yeah. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> you wear that. You got to make that guy's day one oh, time. Can you, can you answer that? Right to, oh, now you need me. <laughs> Hello, Bob and Tom show. <laughs> Bob and Tom, it's Kenny Tarman. Kenny. Hey, hey Shooter, we just landed. Yeah, Talking about did. a roller coaster. I'm an ATL. Just got in from ORD, and now I've got to go all the way to Tango 4 so I can make my connection to ANC. Wow. Yeah, for you Zone 4 people, ANC is Anchorage, Alaska. Oh. Why, why are you going there? Well, because it's time for a little R&R, &R, Tom. Oh. I won this Alaskan cruise in a reverse raffle I got to by my nephew Trevor. Uh -huh. uh, it was to raise money for his lacrosse team to travel to Guatemala or some other third world country. But at least the team has taken our banner with the Smear Corps logo, the new one. So, Tobik's happy because at least we're getting our message out, you know, uh -huh. sure. service after the sale. But I had to call you guys today just to get a line on uh, the hot look for Halloween this year. I have oh. no idea. What is it? Well, our CFO Tobik always goes all out for the Halloween mixer. Two years ago, I went as Zig Ziglar and won the whole thing in a walk-off. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, I tried to switch it up just to be fair when it's J.J. Walker because I'm a huge fan and I just love to say, Dino Mike! <laughs> How'd that go? I know. 
But uh, a few picks were leaked from the party, and let's just say some people did not like my interpretation of the Good Times comedian. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Kenny. I, I don't even know why I try anymore. I hate Halloween. You know, most people love Halloween. Why? Because all the ladies dress like the whores on Skip the Game. <laughs> I know. I know. The other time, you know, any other time you walk into a bar, I see one lady dressed like a whore, and I know where to spend my money. But on Halloween, you walk into the same bar, all 200 women dressed alike. You know, like ladies of ill repute. It's sort of like seeing Zone 4 people that buy their way into the Sky Club. <laughs> hey, Chick, I uh, just got a text. I got some clients doing a four-hour labor in Foxtrot 7, and oh. they want to hear sound effects part number two again. Oh, <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> there you go. It's part two. <laughs> I know. I know. Loved it. Yeah. Hey, let's put a pin in this whole Halloween thing and circle back later this week. Okay. i got to catch the Sky Train. We just landed. Okay, Thanks, thanks Kenny. Thank, thank you very much. All right, man. Hey, what is the big Halloween thing this year? Do we know? Oh, I predict predicts plenty of Dahmers walking around. And we're hooking up with a comedian, sports fan, um, uh, Atlanta Falcon fan, and uh, uh, comedian, Kostaki Economopoulos. Oh, there he is. Hey, Kostaki, how are you? <laughs> morning, guys. Morning. Uh, this morning, Chick walked in. He said uh, the, uh, the uh, roughing the passer uh, call last night was the worst call he's seen in the history of watching the NFL. You didn't watch the one on Sunday, Chick? Which um, would you say was more egregious? I would say last night's was more egregious only because, hear me out, jackass. Uh, <laughs> uh, I know you think the one on Sunday because it involved Tom Brady and it was your Falcons, and I understand That's that. right. And But last night, Chris Jones actually put his left arm down to brace himself to not land on Derek Carr as Fair hard point. as he could have. But, right, uh, and they Andy had the anyway. ball at the time, well, so that's kind of a, yeah. <laughs> well, but that would have been the whole, well, when did he fumble? Oh, it was his hang on the tuck rule. Right, oh, right. Oh, I didn't want to hear that either. So, yeah, there you go. That's what I Yeah, think. I hear you. I, you. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. But, cripes, the one on Sunday with Brady. Who's the ref in that play? Brady's divorce lawyer? What's happening? Huh? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, Hatred is wild. <laughs> I've never seen a zebra f a falcon. That was that uh, hurts. <laughs> oh. His name is uh, Jerome Boger, right? He's been a NFL ref forever. Man. Boger. That's right. And after the game, he said <laughs> Brady Jarrett threw Brady to the ground unnecessarily. That's right. That is the way the defense ends a play. That's literally necessary roughness. That's what that's that's what the game is. He grabbed Brady around the waist and gently swung him to the ground. That play was a pile of leaves away from being a romantic comedy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's Should've very, very, that very funny. funny. Very funny. Yeah. Been so what are they going to do? The what are they going to do about this? Uh, who was the, uh, the quarterback that said know. they've got a... Troy Aikman last night. What was the thing up? Something about dresses? It's the lining. Yes. It's starting to... Be, it's going to be... It's now ridiculous the way they're enforcing this law. Yeah, I've heard that before. Why don't we put them in dresses? Yada, yada, yada. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I was surprised to hear him say that. How are you supposed to tackle Tom Brady? Does it have to be onto a pillow top mattress yeah. at this point? What, there we what, go. 800 thread count well, sheets and uh, a layer of organic guacamole. <laughs> I hate to uh, burst your little Tom Brady hate and bubble here, uh, Kostaki, but uh, yeah. I don't don't count me among the I could not agree with you more. But these two clowns in here, Tom and Josh, <laughs> think Tom Brady should be allowed to take time off. He doesn't have to show up to training camp because <laughs> simply because he's Tom Brady. So I'm, uh -huh. I'm guessing when he got tackled on Sunday, of course the gentleman should have been called for a penalty. He committed it against Tom Brady. I do uh. think he should have been called for a penalty. Uh, just be, uh, respect your elders. Yeah, there you go. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> that was the worst call since Alec Baldwin called his daughter. That's a bad call. Oh. That was the worst call since Mel Gibson called his wife. This was a bad call. <laughs> Since the Secret Service let JFK go with the convertible. <laughs> the these, are the Pantheon. these are bad calls. These are bad and calls. And the Secret Service was told by the CIA, who was told by, uh, by other people. By so Castro. The goat. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. thanks, right. thanks for the conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> The Tom Brady divorce, though, this will be the first time I'm cheering for Tom. It's the first human thing he's done in years. Mm -hmm. I, you know, he's going to mope around the house eating one bite of ice cream. <laughs> <laughs>
He's going to retire now to spend less time with his family. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he got to pack his stuff. So technically, he's a packer. That's weird, right? <laughs> kidding. There's, there's no way both the egos, Varen Rogers and Tom Brady, could both fit in Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Giselle is leaving Brady because his diet doesn't include cunnilingus. It's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> the diet Sorry, is honey. here, and I got to follow the rules. There you are. The trader won't let me. Uh, the Panthers fired their coach. Uh, Matt Rule is now celebrating breast cancer awareness with a pink slip. That's nice. <laughs> uh, Broncos country, let's hide. What's happening? <laughs> Russell Wilson underwent a procedure on his throwing shoulder. I hope it was performed by a wizard. He's beyond medical science at this point. And thoughts and prayers. He needs a magician. David Blaine, put him in the end zone, for the love of God. Oh. Somebody make his personality disappear, too. This guy. It's Watching the Broncos feels like undergoing a procedure. Uh <laughs> Somebody said Russell's in a good place. Is it Ciara's vagina? Because it's not it's not in a good place on the field at all. <laughs> Seems to be a theme today. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, well, <laughs> what do you have on your mind, Kostaki? <laughs> Kostaki has been... Will you, been, will been, you been, please get laid, yeah. please? Yeah, the man has been poon free for three years, as I understand I'm it. I'm single. I want somebody to F me that's not a referee. <laughs> <laughs> Really quick, there's a new show called Reboot that I watched, and because of you guys, I understood the Paul Lind joke. Oh. Yeah. oh. Well, Maybe we'll have a Paul Lind joke of the day coming That's so up. great. Oh, you guys have one you bringing work on Paul sure. Lind back. That's <laughs> okay, but right now when you say joke of the day, I just think of one thing in this great country of ours. Of course, I'm talking about... Speaking of farts, what do you call a, a, a cow fart? What? Derriere. Oh. oh! I'm going to take your computer away if you don't stop. <laughs> Step up! You feel a froggy? Why don't you jump? <laughs> Today. today in history. It's up to you, buddy. Uh, okay, it's the 11th of October. Oh, this is good. It's all brand new to him, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to do like this. A baby. I'm going to do this. I'll ask this in the form of a question. I will What's ask. This? I will ask uh, the historically illiterate Josh. What president was the first former United States president to fly in an airplane on this date? Hmm. Wow. I'm going to say. Um, Oh, boy. Uh, Roosevelt. Which one? Franklin. Teddy. Oh, okay. I mean, you were close. I'll, I'll give you yeah. that. I thought it was Franklin because, of course, he would have been able to board first. Now, Franklin was Teddy's... Uh, <laughs> that is so mean. <laughs> Franklin was Teddy's son, right? No, no, yes, no, no. Yes, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty yeah Theodore sure. Roosevelt in 1910, the first former president to fly in an airplane. Okay, mm. that's cool. He was uh, on the outside, though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, knowing Teddy, <laughs> hanging on to a wing. Yeah! Yeah. And, and back then... Away! Now, am I correct in saying that any... Any airplane that the president is on is Air Force One, right? By definition, isn't that it? And isn't the helicopter Marine One? But in the, of course, that was would have been, I guess, Airplane One. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, 1975 uh, Saturday Night Live premieres with who is the host? <gasps> Willie Al, uh, Al Roker, it's Carlin, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. George yeah. Carlin. It's Carlin, and then the guy that plays Nothing from Nothing is the musical guest, and I forget who the other musical guest is. Oh, uh, the nothing from nothing guy is Billy. Billy Preston. Billy Preston. Yeah. The fifth Beatle. He baby, was the and Janice, and Janice Ian as well as the third. Yeah. Oh, um, not a pretty woman. Oh, uh, <laughs> she's great. Great singer. Um, let's see. Um, <laughs> she has to be. Time now for. Oh, one more thing. 1983, the last hand cranked telephone in the United States went out of service in Bryant Pond, Maine. How much a hand crank you, I can tell. Isn't that great? I just like that on the Andy Griffith show where they crank the phone and Sarah. Oh my get me Barney. Lord. Time now for today things we learned or something. Kansas City Chiefs 30, Las Vegas Raiders 29.
but uh, we can't talk about it because Ace hasn't seen the game yet. Uh, worst Can you imagine if they did that on ESPN? Night? Yeah. Sorry, we get to the scores. Uh, Ace Cosby has to watch the game. <laughs> <laughs> they respected me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, Kenny, he demands respect, Tom. He's so deluded. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny Tarmac is on his way to Alaska. He mm. won a cruise on a reverse raffle, which is, I think, fascinating. Uh, we got a request to hear, uh, that's right, fart number two. <laughs> that was pretty exciting. <laughs> Well, my favorite, I would have to say, is fart number three. I like that. that was That's true. really pushing. And again, we have to verify all, <laughs> this all, guy, all fart models are over this, 18. <laughs> this guy's really present. Yeah. Number three, bar number three is in the barely legal. Wait a minute. I'm adding facial looks for the camera. <laughs> What do you think, huh? It was very good. Just a little something for the TV yeah. show. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, these are also also all oh, backdoor. Oh. All backdoor all human All backdoor, mm. yes. <laughs> yeah. smells, yeah. smells like a butt there, Chick. <laughs> oh, let's see. And uh, let's uh, Kostaki's still upset about all things Tom Brady. I don't know when it will stop. Okay, thank you very much. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.